Well, first we need a container. Um, this will do the trick, I think. There's still some candy left inside, but uh, I know how to take care of this little problem. <laughs> And as it has been the next step, you might want to remove those stickers. This works very well with some vegetable oil. I think I'll continue later. And now for some charcoal. Huh, kind of a huge chunk. Ah, oh, come on, this is ridiculous. I once used activated charcoal for a springtail setup and uh, that was way too small, the pieces, but uh, this is uh, kind of a huge contrast. Um, I'm trying to break it a little bit apart to make the chunks more suitable. Let's apply some brute force. Ugh. There we go. Yep, that's okay. This is pretty much the standard approach for springtail cultures. Some charcoal as a substrate and uh, to give the springtail something to walk on. And for moisture, we simply add a bit of water. In this case, I'm using some green water from a tank I am currently raising some medaka fry in. Let's wash down a bit of the charcoal dust from the rim. There we go. I haven't determined the species of my springtails, but they are of a nice silvery variety. Many years ago they just showed up in my back then more naturalistic glowworm enclosures. When I switched to the more hygienic sponge cloth approach, they survived in old enclosures and even the soil of my chili plants. Recently I successfully seeded my isopod culture with them, which is where I will take them from now. I simply put some pieces of sponge cloth crawling with them onto the coals. For food I am adding some crushed fish flakes. And one of my own personal favorites, some oats. Ventilation holes are not required because the lid does not fit too tight. After slightly over two weeks the springtails have established themselves but are not overly abundant yet. Therefore I will be adding some more coal, water and food. Kohle, 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 Schuppdidu. Hm. 
Now, why did I start a new springtail culture? Hmm. Well, for the 21th generation of my Sardinian glowworms, I have slightly revamped uh, the way I keep them. And I will be going back to a bioactive setup and therefore springtails are required once more. But this is the topic for a later video. However, the next video will deal with a comparison of two plants from my chili breeding program, the Cariolochia scorpion strain E and the Cariolochia screeper strain A. The fruits are ripening right now. So, see you next Friday, if you like.